2009.2, page 364 in your Big Ideas book on surface area and volume. Today we're going to change our shape. We're going to change our shape to a pyramid. And we're going to use the formula to find the surface area of that pyramid. Our essential question, what is a lateral face? And how do you find the surface area of a pyramid? So we're going to be doing a lot of things today. You may want to watch and listen, pause and then write down. It all depends on how you work best at learning. I will be talking quickly and I'll be writing fast because we do have a lot to get through and I want to keep this as short as possible. So you were asked to take a few notes from the top of page 364 on surface area of a pyramid. And it's good to know that for a pyramid that the shape of the base is also a determining factor in the name of the pyramid. You have a square base, it's a square pyramid. If you have a rectangular base, it's a rectangular pyramid. If you have an octagonal base, it's an octagonal pyramid. And if you have a triangular base, it's a triangular pyramid, etc., etc. For a, for a for a pyramid, you only have one base. There is one base to a pyramid. It's typically at the bottom. Its opposite is going to be the vertex at the top of the pyramid. So you have one base in a pyramid versus the two for a prism. So you don't have anything that's opposite, parallel, and congruent in this figure. So the first thing you want to talk about is the lateral faces that come off of this base. They are always, 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 always in a pyramid triangular shaped. Those triangular lateral faces slant inward, come together, and meet at the top to form a little point, and it's a vertex of the pyramid. And when it comes to the slant height of those lateral faces, the slant height is the height of a triangular lateral face. So this starts to come together. Once again, a lot of vocabulary, and you've got to know exactly what we're talking about. Because when we're talking slant height, you are talking about a lateral face. Yes, there is a height of the pyramid. We're going to talk about that later when we get to our volume lesson. Right now we're talking slant height. That's a different name, and that slant height is always pertaining to the triangular, the triangular lateral face. The height of that is the slant height. It's also good to know that the shape of the base not only determines the name, but it also determines how many, how many lateral, triangular lateral faces you have. That's what it does. So if we have a square base, we got four triangular lateral faces. If you have a triangular one, you got three triangular lateral faces. And if you have an octagonal base with eight sides to it, then you would have eight triangular lateral faces. So if we unfold this pyramid, we can come over here to the right and we can see we have the net, that two-dimensional drawing of the three-dimensional figure. And it shows those four lateral faces right here, one, two, three, and four. It shows the base in the middle, and it's supposed to be a square. And then it points out to you the slant height. Those are the important things to know about a pyramid. The book told you that the surface area of a pyramid is the area of the base plus the area of the lateral faces. And it's also important to know we're going to deal mostly with regular pyramids. That means the base shape will be a regular shape. You know that regular means all sides are the same. That's important because if all the sides are the same, that means Every single lateral face is going to be exactly the same size. So you can just multiply by the area of one lateral face by the number of total lateral faces there are to get that total surface area. So ladies and gentlemen, let's move right along into our examples. Example one, find the surface area of this square pyramid. It's a regular pyramid, and that's stuff we need to know. I always, always, always highlight my base still. So my base is a square, which is base times height to find the area. That's going to be 3 times 3 in this situation, which is 9. And then I'm looking at my triangular lateral faces. Well, there's four of them because I have a square base, so I have four lateral faces. And that's going to be 4 times the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. And when I fill in the numbers, that's 4 times. Well, the base of the triangle right here, that's 3. The slant height, four. Right there is a slant height. It's the line that goes down and has a perpendicular mark to it. So that is four. 
and I'm going to divide that by 2. And when you know how to do math, you take that 2 and you simplify it with that 4, and you go, that's 2. And then you have 2 times 12, because 3 times 4 is 12, and that's 24. All you have left to do, all you have left to do is add up the area of the base 9 plus the area, the total area of the four lateral faces, 24, and you get 33. And now you add those units and you make them squared because it is surface area. Moving right along, we're going to find the area, a surface area of a pyramid with a square base. Again, side length is 8 centimeters, slant height is 15 centimeters. So they're not giving us a picture. For those of you who like to draw pictures, I'll teach you real quick. If you draw like a rhombus kind of looking, parallel looking thing, and just say it's a square, because that makes it easier to draw your, um, makes it easier to draw your pyramid, you put a vertex up there. I just put a dot. And then I connect all the vertex of the base to that top vertex of the pyramid, and bam, we have one. Side length is eight, so these two sides are eight. Slant height, if I want to put the slant height in there, I draw a little line down to the base of the triangular lateral face, and I say that's 15. And now I go, hey, my base. I always highlight my base right there. Base times height, which is 8 times 8, which is 64. Woo! Right and fast today, Mr. Ross. That's right. Let's do it. Let's get it done. And then we have four, because we have a square base, we have four lateral faces. So that's 4 times the area of a triangle, which is base times height divided by 2. Putting in the numbers, that's 4 times, well, the base of that triangular lateral face is 8. The slant height is 15, and we're going to divide that by 2. And of course, I'm going to do just a tiny bit of simplification. 2 times, uh, two times well, 8 times 15 is, what is that, 390? No, that's not true, it's 120. Hello, 120. And 2 times 120 is 240. I don't even know where I got 390 from, but there you go. And I'm doing the math. There it is, for some reason. And of course, all we're left to do now is take that base, 64, and add it to the lateral faces, 240. And now we have 304. 304, and of course, it's going to be centimeters and squared because it is surface area. All right? One more time. Use a net to find the surface area of a regular pyramid. And it's regular, so we got this square shape right here. I like to use red for my base. And so my base is a square. That tells us a lot. Base times height, and we have 9 times 9, and that's 81. So knowing that that's a square, knowing that that tells us that I have four lateral faces, and it tells us that all those lateral faces are the same exact size. Outstanding. Ooh, lateral faces. And uh, that's going to be 4 times the area of a triangle, base times height divided by 2, filling in the numbers. Again, I'm writing super fast. I am writing super fast, so you might want to just watch and listen and then pause to write it down. You can only add a few seconds to each one of these examples. And let's see, we have 9 for the base of the lateral face. We have 12 for the slant height. We're going to divide that by 2. Simplifying, we have 2. Well, 9 times 12 is 108, and that's 216. And now we just add our areas together. We have 81 plus 216, and that gives us 297, and we have inches, and that's squared. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, you pay attention, and stuff becomes super easy. You get yourself in a habit. You get yourself in a routine. You listen. You learn. You do. You practice. Changing it up just a tiny bit, we're going to find the surface area of a regular pyramid, and this is really helpful, to, again, knowing it's regular, because it tells us that every single lateral face is going to be the same size. And it just so happens that in this one, they are giving us the area of the base. They're giving it to us. So the base is 439.1. That's what it is. And now we go to the lateral faces. Oh, wait a minute. Let's take it. we got to help ourselves. Let's trace that base, even though they gave it to us. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. Six sides on that base. So that how many lateral faces do we have? That's right, six lateral faces this time. Lateral faces. So it's six times the base times height divided by two. Putting in the number six, well the base of that triangular lateral face is 13. And the height, the slant height of that lateral face is 30. And you divide that by two. And then I can take and simplify this out, two goes into six three times. 
13, 13 times 30, 13 times 30 is 390. That's probably where I got it from, is I got all these numbers in my head that I'm trying to remember as I go very quickly, because you don't think I'm punching a calculator as I do this, do you? And then, of course, three times 390 is 1,170. And so now all we have left to do is what? That's right, add the area of our base, 439.1, to the lateral surface area that we got from the six lateral faces of 1,170. And when you add that, 439.1 plus 1,170, you get 1,000. No, you don't. Clear. Holy smokes, I am grabbing a calculator this time. It doesn't seem to be written down. Um, 1,170 plus 439.1 gives us 1,001. Why does that not look right? It just doesn't look right. 439.1 plus 1170 equals 1,006. There's no way. Oh, well. 1,609, there is a way, 0.1. I'm just going nuts. Maybe it's because I'm, I've been doing this all night long. And of course, it's meters squared. So stick with me, 1,100. Oh, I can't even say this stuff right. So I hope you're cracking up and laughing with me. When we add 439 to 1,170, I guess that's just about 1,200. And 1,200 plus 400 is 1,600. We get 1,609.1 meters squared. Woo! We said it right, baby. That's right. Moving right along to our last example before this video is over. Use the net to find the surface area of the regular pyramid. And once again, they give us the area of the base. And we know it's a regular one, so we know all these sides are the same, and that tells us that every single lateral face is the same. I just highlighted my base. There's five lateral faces, and we're going to use that. Well, the base, 289.25. And the lateral faces, we counted them up. There's five of them. So that's five times the area of a triangle, base times height divided by two. And that would be five times, we're going to plug in the numbers, the base of the triangle is right there, 13. And the height right here, the slant height, slant height is always on a triangular lateral face, 22. All right? So now I'm going to go five times. I'm going to take this two and go into the 22 11 times and go 13 times 11. And when you go 13 times 11, you get 143. So five times 143 gives you uh, 715. And now we just take that 715, this area of the lateral faces, we add that to the 289.25 base. And when you add that together, you get 1,004.25. And of course, it's going to be inches and it's squared. So ladies and gentlemen, hopefully I helped you out a little bit on understanding surface area of a pyramid because now you have to do your quick right. Find the surface area of this regular pyramid. It's a square base, side length of 5, slant height of 12, and again, if you don't know how to draw one, make that parallelogram. Put that vertex up in the sky and just connect those four as best you can. Label side length 5, slant height 12. Voila! Take a quick break, get a snack, talk to your mama, talk to your daddy, talk to your brothers, sisters, and your dog, and then come